Awesome. Musky. Let's go. Well, good morning, everyone. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Nick and I just woke up, and it's time to get our day started. It's a little windy out still. We had some pretty interesting winds last night. Well, we want to get up and start fishing. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hit the lake behind us. It's just too windy for this lake. Why don't we go ahead and check it out? Oh yeah. It is looking beautiful though. Just not for topwater bass. Right here, it doesn't seem like there's much, but once you get on the other side of these lily pads, it's uh be a little bit tough for some topwater frogging this morning, which is basically the ideal thing to do on a body water like this. So I think what Nick and I are going to do instead is actually try a completely different lake that's not too far from here, but that lake has smallmouth, walleye, and muskie in it. And I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like a pretty good morning to me. So it's looking beautiful. We're hoping with just a little bit of chop, maybe we can do some drift fishing or we can stick to the less windy side and we can go in and maybe we could start hooking up with some smallmouth this morning. Always a chance at a muskie up here. You just never know. So we're gonna go ahead, probably cook some breakfast before we do anything. And then we're gonna hopefully get the rest of the guys awake to come with us. If it's just us that hits the lake this morning, not the end of the world. So we're gonna go ahead, keep the fire rolling cook some breakfast, and then we're gonna get into some fish. All right, there we go. Well, as you guys can tell, we've got the ax loaded up and the truck tent has come out. Place it over here for right now. It's looking like a normal tent. Looking like a normal tent. You could actually probably use it as a normal tent. Not that we ever have, but maybe we'll try it someday. But for right now, we've got the axe loaded up. And we're going to be heading out of the campground. And we're going to be heading to another lake like we were talking about. Something that's going to have smallmouth, musky. And you never know, it's a little late now. We did have breakfast, but there's always a chance at a walleye too. So we're going to go ahead, finish loading everything up, and we'll meet you guys down at the lake. What you want there? This is the arsenal for what we're gonna be throwing today. We got football head jig. I'm gonna be tossing dirty craw. Not sure what this bad boy is. Brandon picked this up at the musky shop. Gonna be throwing that for some muskies. The old whopper plopper, musky smallmouth action, net rig, sanko. Bullet weight with a craw. That's what's gonna get it done today. What do you think? Oh, is it possible to get a muskie? I mean, is this just like far fetched, or are we gonna get out there and just it's very a muskie? No, it's very possible. Uh, I can think of numerous times actually that we've been here. First cast caught a muskie, so it's definitely possible. I would have loved to have gotten out here earlier and maybe had a little bit less wind, thrown some top water. The old whopper plopper just really sets them off here at this lake. But, you know, it's about, I don't know what, like 10 o'clock now or something like that. We had breakfast, got everything all ready, spent some time. But that's good because now we are fully rigged. Honestly, we're pretty much ready for like the whole week at this point. We got the kayaks. It's just us two, at least for this morning's trip. 
Uh, some of the other guys went to another lake. Nick's dad, he's back at the campground with his Nick's grandparents. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be us two. We're going to send it out on the axe. We're going to carry these down. It's going to be an adventure, but hopefully we get hooked up with a muskie or at least some smallmouth right away. It's a little windy out here today. Not too bad, but definitely a little chop on the old surface. Question is, where do we start first? Start working the shallows, but we go to the other side where it's calm. Do we try finding some structure? Down trees, logs, cribs. Do we stick to the rocks? That's the main question, where are they gonna be? Okay, well, paddled all the way across the lake. We are now in the back bay of the lake. Still a little bit windy back here, but not bad. Not bad at all. We're gonna be starting with the old whopper plopper. I'm sitting out deeper right now. I'm casting into the shallow right here where I've just casted a small rock bar. Multiple different ways that you can make this whopper plopper work. Definitely a pretty neat topwater bait. Since there's smallmouth in here, I like to kind of pop it, almost like a hula popper. It's definitely a little bit more violent than your average hula popper. Or you can just steadily bring it back. And that thing just kicks water and it'll drive fish nuts. It's a little bit more aggressive approach. But it certainly works. Got him! Let's go! Oh, let's go! That was awesome! Oh my gosh! Just crushed the whopper blocker! Musky! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Look at him thrashing! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Just a little guy. That is awesome! Oh my gosh! He came up and just clobbered that thing! Oh! That! was amazing oh my god all right well we got her revived in the net we're gonna get one last look at it before we let this one go i didn't have the net so we had to boat flip that one really really fast nick was a little ways away but this one's got plenty of energy beautiful beautiful colors to this muskie awesome to come out here and bag one like that that fast right back down to the bottom that one came up and just Smash the old top water. Just a little guy, nothing huge, but getting up here in northern Wisconsin and catching some muskies is pretty awesome. And that's just hopefully the first of many. This lake does have a lot of them for being such a small lake, but we're just gonna keep throwing the top water, maybe switch it up, throw a couple other baits too. But that was maybe 15 minutes of fishing tops, maybe 10 minutes of fishing tops, and already got into. A muskie up here in northern Wisconsin. So that is freaking exciting, baby. Let's go. Missed it, missed it, missed it. Oh my gosh. Whew. Heart just got racing. Big back, whatever it was. Either a huge smallmouth or a nice muskie. He just, he like went right behind it. He, he had it like, I think he only had the back hook or just the tail of the bait, whatever it was. Right here on this tree, there's a tree right below me.
Oh my god, that was oh he came off. No! No! Giant musky! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, we gotta get it back out there. We gotta get it back out there. Oh Oh man. Wow. Wow 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 wow. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, come on, baby. Come back. Oh my god. Did that just happen? Holy crap. That was an absolute <laughs> beast of an explosion. Holy cow, okay, I gotta get out of here quick. We're gonna give that fish a minute to cool down and maybe we'll come back. I don't wanna disturb this area too bad if he's riled up and ready to go. Got him. Awesome smallmouth. No, he came off. Oh, man. He was way back in there and just came up and sucked it straight under. Dang it. It wasn't easy, but I was able to get my bait way back deep inside there. You can tell that's the shoreline right there, and it's just a real short decline. There's an old bed right there, and there's just a ton of this weeds, brush, it's almost like a bush in the water. There's a little legitimate trees growing in the water right here. And they are in just the thickest of stuff where you can't even see them. But I was able to put my bait back there. And he chased it all the way out and smacked it on the top water. That was pretty awesome. You just got to really work these areas and find these fish because they're so hidden. And there's so much structure literally everywhere like areas like this where like you know you just got trees literally growing out of the water and then it's just endless bushes because the water's so high right now we've gotten so much rain these fish can be literally anywhere well guys uh first time seeing me in today's episode i i truly don't know what i'm doing out here uh we were fishing well, the morning is probably around noonish, so what, two hours? Two, we maybe come, three hours. Yeah, so a couple hours out here. I also was throwing for muskies the entire time. As you could tell, though, as of right now to this point in the video, you have not seen any GoPro footage from me. Uh, I didn't. I didn't even get a bite out there. And then it got so bad, I was like, "Screw it! I'm going for smallmouth because I'm done with this." And I got one bite. So <laughs> that was that. Brandon, on the other hand, two smallmouth hits what a mu and a musky and like a really big musky hit but whatever it was cool to see cool to film and be up here but i am i am here i'm just not doing anything today <laughs> but we are getting off the water right now like i said it's around noonish and we're gonna go back to camp our buddy actually bridge who has been on the channel he was in our episode where we opening day when brandon caught that 28 and a half inch walleye he was in that, so if you haven't seen him, you will soon, but I'm pretty sure he's at our campground right now, so we're going to go meet up with him, cook some lunch because we're absolutely starving, and then we'll see where we go from there. Probably more fishing though, but maybe a different species, and hopefully I can maybe get something, but still got to load the kayaks, drag them, and all that fun stuff. And, you know, actually, now that I'm looking at my kayaks, make it even worse, I had, I had this in my kayak. I yeah. had my Garmin. And I still couldn't catch a damn fish. So I don't, it's, it's just not it's, your day. It's just not my day. Yesterday I lost that five pounder. And and actually, no, while we're on the topic of losing stuff, I lost my phone the day before we went camping. And I have poison ivy. Check it out. Let's get a so, good look at it. So this whole oh, trip is just, you know, wonderful for me right now. The only thing I can think of is that God is just waiting until the end of the week and then I'll just be blessed with like a 30 inch walleye. Yeah, 10 Ho pounder. Hopefully, I don't know. Still got a lot of fishing, a lot of camping to do, but I don't know. I got to get my head in the game. Well, as you can see, what we're having for dinner for tonight is some venison, 
brought to you by my father. And then, we got in here. Potatoes. Ooh, those need to be washed. Yes, they're gonna have to get washed, but that is, we're gonna be making some fries out here and some venison. Like we were saying in uh, yesterday's video that this is a uh, good eats out here. Yes, we are camping in the middle of nowhere with no service, but we are definitely gonna still eat good. So, got a little bit of work ahead of us, but that's the game plan so far. Let's see it, Dave. Whoa! This guy knows what he's doing. Split a couple times in his day. You think you can beat him? Whoa! Absolutely could not beat him. Dave's a man. I didn't have to do that as a chore. Gosh. Him, on the other hand, probably did a lot of splitting of the wood. <laughs> <laughs> a daily occurrence. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tough one. That's because it... <laughs> What are you looking for? The lighter. Can't find the lighter. <laughs> that's rough, huh? <laughs> He's Good. got it. Good. Everything is under control. Made it to the old pump uh, issue here. <laughs> Lever. <laughs> not working so we're gonna have to improvise and i think oh yeah if you're just a big strong man like me i might be able to make this work oh yeah look at that wow. God, you are just so i'm jack dude so that's what we're gonna have to do these are gonna have to get scrubbed, so. Okay, well here, do the pumping. I will do the washing of the potato. Well, we have got potatoes turned into french fries, salt and pepper. We have two different types of pickles, corn, looking delicious. Grandma brought out some cherries. Want to taste test? Mm, got the seed in there, you gotta be careful. Pretty good though. What are you looking for politically correct And then the good stuff. We got venison with onions, seasoning. Load me up. Ooh, mm-hmm. That looks pretty good. It's to die for. And, wow, look at this. And Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies for dessert. Holy cow, Can you do a little quick taste test? Bring them over here, I'll thaw them out. One. One. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That's some good stuff right there. We're gonna be eating real good. Wow, look at that plate. That is a plate. It's like Thanksgiving dinner, guys. Well, better than Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to go ahead, sit down, sit by the campfire, enjoy our meal, maybe have a drink or two. And then I think the plan is to get out onto the big water tonight. And we're going to be bringing all the bigger boats. We've got our big boat with us. So no kayaks, no John boats, nothing like that. Probably two, maybe even all three of the big boats tonight. So it should be exciting. Okay guys, made it out on the water. It is like a completely different day from this morning. This morning it was really cold. Um, it was in the 50s actually when we were fishing for muskies. And now, I mean, it's still like mid 60s right now, but it's sunny, no wind. And yeah, it's about 7.30, so it's not quite sunset, but we're getting there. We are gonna be going for uh, pretty much anything that bites but the main species I guess for most of it is going to be going for smallmouth, largemouth and walleyes is the targeted species. Uh, we got a few boats out here but in our boat we got obviously Brandon and I 
and then my dad and Bridge, which we did not show you Bridge, but he did end up showing up right before we ended up going fishing. And then Paul and Gunnar are also in a boat. And I guess we're just gonna, we're gonna get out here, start pounding some different spots, different locations, kind of inform each other on what the bite is like and different spots. And we're gonna see if we can just catch some lunkers here before the sun goes down. And even in, into the dark, we, uh, we got lights, we're gonna be hitting the shoreline and stuff like that for walleye. So we're expecting big things right now. Brandon's, Brandon's gonna start going to the first spot. So get ready guys. <laughs> I saw him surfacing back here. It's feeling better now that it's closer. I'm assuming smallmouth. Oh yeah. Is that a large one? I can't tell. It's a big one. No, it's small. Nice one though. There we go. I saw him surfacing out there. Just, I don't even know, like 15, 20 feet of water. And I was like, well, I'll take a cast. Figured it was a smaller one just to see if I get some action. That's a nice one. That's probably like, I don't know. What do you think that is? 17? Maybe? Yeah, probably. I don't know, but it's a, it's, it's a football, though. It is definitely football. football. And look at how he engulfed the Ned rig. We haven't been out here, like, longer than freaking five minutes. So it's a good, good start to the day, you know. Trusty old Ned rig can't get any better than that. We're going to grab a few pictures of this one and release it and hopefully get even bigger tonight. Not even sunset yet. And if that's the first fish, well, I think we're going to be in for a good night. Because that thing absolutely munched the Ned rig. So we still got topwater action. We still got walleye action to conquer tonight. So it's going to be a good one. What is our boat? You okay? Woohoo! Getting some excitement. Not a giant. But he came up and crushed it while I was fixing my reel. Get him in. And just like so, on the dirty craw, another one strikes. Just a little male. Probably about mm, 13, maybe 14 inches, but not a bad one. Get that one right back into the water and hopefully we find a big brother. do especially on the medium lights oh baby you got a good look at him i don't think he's too big just wow warm fighter dude warm water look at this oh. Wait, come on that's not even that big of a smallie i mean that's a nice nice small mouth for sure but it's not big or anything but it <laughs> sure is a heck of a fight god Took you for a ride there for a little bit water temps are like they went down, they were in the high 80s for a little bit for surface temp. Now they're like mid 70s right now, but these fish are all sorts of charged up. God, you want a good fight. Just come smallmouth fishing, medium light rod, Ned rig. We're literally just throwing it like, well, we were hitting the shorelines on chunk rock and then we we're gonna start throwing some top water because we noticed some stuff surfacing. That one surfaced, took a few casts and he munched it. So top water, the whopper plopper especially, think is going to be real dirty in about yeah we got time i think in about like 10 15 minutes we're going to switch over to that and we're going to start murking them well guys what a crazy long day number two up here in the north woods man started around six o'clock a.m 
got on top of a muskie. Well, Brandon got on top of a muskie. I almost two of them. Almost two. Yeah. And a couple of dandy smallmouth blow-ups too. Yeah. Man. It was but a crazy morning. I did make up for it, you know, going later and catching that nice smallmouth on the bigger water. That was pretty cool and fun. So yeah, got a couple that was of exciting. Nice ones. You know, nothing absolutely massive like what we know is in that lake, but uh, it was a taste, and that's what makes you come back. Right. That's why we plan these trips up here because. <laughs> Oh, it's just... of the trip and it's already starting to be a banger i mean we have a lot of days left here a lot of here, camping so a lot of good food lot sitting fishing. around the fire a lot of fishing i mean the potential in all these lakes around this area is insane and you just never know what you're gonna get right. but hey we went for a muskie and we got a muskie so that's all that really matters yep. in this one and we went later for smallmouth and, and got small month. Yep, yep. <laughs> we did all school for walleyes, but obviously you didn't see the walleyes. No. My dad did catch a boat like. Yeah. I said, think he said six, but they were all under 12 inches. Yeah. So. A lot of small ones were biting tonight. That's why we didn't get any of the bigger ones. With we were throwing a little bit more aggressive baits. So. Yeah, and we also threw for small month till dark. Really dark. <laughs> so. so, it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's fishing it was uh pretty crazy kind of all over the place a little bit of kayaking a little bit in the boat musky fishing you just never know how it's going to go so to get a couple uh, blow ups like that on the top water is exciting and get into these smallmouth again was awesome again we are going to be staying up here for a few more days so there's going to be a lot of great content that you guys are going to want to stay tuned for because we've got again more fishing more camping sitting around the fire we've got some delicious delicious meals already planned and we're hoping to do a fish fry later this week so we just got to get out there and make that happen so again if you guys enjoyed make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us we would greatly appreciate that if you guys are new to the channel new to the series make sure to hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the notification bell it's going to let you know anytime that we post a video here on the channel so stay tuned for the rest of the series and until next time guys tight lines from nd Edwards.